if we want health, we must promote health. Now, this can seem counterintuitive to those of us who, who are used to focusing on the dangers and the problems we're working to prevent. The science of the positive reverses the problem-centered frame by growing healthy, positive, protective norms. We can decrease risky, harmful, and unhealthy attitudes and behaviors. And when we start to look at the world from a, a position of hope, it has a profound impact on the questions we ask, the data we collect, and the way we address health and safety issues. In prevention, we are all leaders. Whether you're leading a nationwide prevention initiative, facilitating statewide prevention community, your coalition coordinator, or a one-person shop, you are a prevention leader. How we show up and how we engage with others to create positive change takes all types of leadership. So sit back and enjoy these conversations with your fellow prevention leaders from across the globe who are sharing their lessons learned, best practices, and strategies for success. Hey everybody, this is Dave Clausen from DJC Solutions, and you are listening to the Prevention Leaders Podcast, the show that brings you conversations with like-minded and driven prevention leaders from across the globe. Today, we are thrilled to have Dr. Jeff Linkenbach on our podcast. With over 30 years of experience in public health leadership, Jeff is the Director and Chief Research Scientist at the Montana Institute. He is a co-investigator of the HOPE study, Healthy Outcomes from Positive Experiences, at the HOPE Center at Tufts School of Medicine, and a past fellow at the Mansfield Academy for Global Leadership at the University of Montana. Jeff is also known for developing national award-winning programs that change community norms, with a particular focus on substance abuse, suicide, child maltreatment, and traffic safety. He trained others to implement effective norms interventions across North America. His impressive background in translating social norms science into practical applications has led to his recognition as a consultant and trainer for numerous prestigious organizations, such as the U.S. White House and the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, Harvard University, and many, many more. I'm always honored to speak with Jeff and excited to, to hear his insights on creating positive community norms and the Montana Summer Institute. So without further ado, welcome, Jeff. Wow. Dave, thank you. Uh, thanks for that pitch piece, that awesome shout out. It's an honor to be in included amongst the, the podcasts of these prevention leaders that, that you bring together. So thank you. I appreciate your friendship and honor your advice and wisdom and look up to you as a mentor in the field. And I will always shout from the mountaintops about the great work that you all do there at the Montana Institute, because as you always say, the positive exists and it is worth growing. I just love it so much. I do. So today we're here to talk about the Montana Summer Institute, and I am pumped because I will be there in person this year to bask in all that is the experience of the Montana Summer Institute. But for our listeners, can we just start out by having you just tell us what is the Montana Summer Institute? A absolutely. And thank you again. Yeah, Montana Summer Institute is our premier event each year. It's our annual conference, and it, it occurs in Big Sky, Montana, in the mountains in, in, in Big Sky, Montana. And we have preventionists from around the country who, who gather to learn the, the newest research and practice behind our work around the science of the positive and positive community norms. And, and in recent years, as one of the, the co-developers of HOPE, health outcomes from positive experiences, we, we always have some sort of a hope track as, as well as, and really looking at interface of hope, which is a counter to ACEs, adverse childhood experiences. We always look at the interface of, of hope with substance abuse and, and other prevention efforts. So we 
we started the Montana Summer Institute, believe it or not, in 1998. So we've been doing this for 25 years. It, initially, it focused on and was, was gathered around the social norms approach to prevention. And then as our work grew and expanded, um, retitled, rebranded it as Montana Summer Institute. And that's what we've been doing since then. And uh, thrilled that we usually have around 300 people that show up on site. And we're actually already about halfway filled. And so uh, people interested in registering should get on that quick. I'm glad I already got on that and registered. Can't wait to be there. And folks, it is, it is not just a conference. It is a transformational experience. So what, what are some of the things folks share or say that they themselves love about the experience that is the Montana Summer Institute? Yeah, thank, thank you for that question. I think one of the things that we, as we review and evaluate, look at evaluations each year, reflect on this, I think one of the big themes that we hear from people is what you just said. It's not just a conference, it's, it's a transformational experience. And so we try to set up the whole week to create aha moments for people. Aha moments in terms of everything from meeting with colleagues and learning. You know, we learn best from, you know, with, with friends, not just, and, and colleagues, not just sitting there listening to the speakers. So aha moments, meeting with colleagues, aha moments, visiting Yellowstone National Park and seeing your first grizzly bear or moose or going out for a hike with some of our team. And then obviously some of the aha moments from, from the sessions, which are this combination of content and th then interaction and, and, and skill building. We, we just heard actually looking at the evaluations from, from one of our longtime colleagues and, and a prevention leader who Describe the Montana Summer Institute as a transformative experience that changed the course of her career in public health. And this is what we hope people experience is, is that revitalization, that reigniting their passion for their work and increasing their ability to have health and safety impacts with the different issues in the, 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 the people that they serve. And then it, hopefully that creates this ripple effect in trying to apply this transformational leadership back home and with, with the organizations and people they serve. Ooh, I, I love that, that quote from the, the participant. And I, I got to tell you, I mean, 2020 was a tough year. Yeah. 2021 was a tough year. Right. 2022 was a tough year to be a prevention leader, to do the work that we do do and yeah. folks i don't know about y'all but i'm feeling wore out i'm feeling just burdened and oh, i can't wait i'm looking forward to that rejuvenation that that reignition of my prevention leader spark mm -hmm. yeah now what what might be some of the the hesitations for folks that it might be holding them back from hitting that register button for either the in-person or the live stream. Yeah, that, I think that's really a really important question. I think one of the, the hesitations is that Big Sky Resort, um, which, is, which is located outside of Bozeman, Montana, it's equidistant but really between Bozeman, Montana and Yellowstone National Park, it's rural. It can be difficult to get to in terms of driving or flights and travel costs can be prohibitive for some. However, what we find is anyone who has actually come and come in person will tell you that it, it's worth the trip for sure. We're glad to be able to offer the morning sessions, the, the content sessions. We're going to offer those again, live stream for, for folks. So people that don't feel that they can make the the travel this year that they could join live stream and watch and learn from 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 wherever you are wherever they are and it's a great way to share in 
in the experience, although not the same as, as having that restorative experience of coming up to the high altitude mountain air and having a snowball fight in June. <laughs> I didn't know that was on the agenda, but I am smiling because it is now. Yeah, especially this year. There's a lot of snow. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, what are some of the other opportunities or potentials are there for attendees besides a snowball fight? Right. Which is optional. Okay. Okay. That's not, <laughs> that's not in the agenda. That, that's <laughs> extra. So we, we intentionally s design this experience based on what, what I've developed is called the cycle of transformation. And the cycle of transformation moves through four domains in this order. It goes spirit first, then science, leading to action and coming around to returns. So it goes spirit, science, action, return. We talk about the spirit. Spirit is about essence, energy, positivity, connection, right? Connecting with our heart, f following that, that sense of, you know, the, what's tugging at us or calling all of us to do this work that we do in prevention or public health. So spirit first. Then we move into the science. We know that prevention at its best is, is working with prevention science. And so looking at effectiveness, data, new understandings. Science then leads us into best practices. Where should we put our energy so that we can move from being busy to effective, which is something all of us are seeking. All of us are busy. The challenge is, are we also effective? Are we moving the dial? Are we really having impacts? And then we come around to this place of return, which is a place of hitting pause, reflection, evaluating how we doing. So I always move through spirit, science, action, return. So each day is intentionally designed with those four domains. And the week, the four days of the, the Institute itself is also designed based on spirit, science, action, return. So again, the cycle of transformation is germane to everything we do. And we want to make sure people experience it as well as, as learn it. And so it's good for people that are first timers coming to learn about this framework, as well as long-term practitioners. In fact, we have a record returner. She came 13 times and, and each time she would say that, you know, she's hearing something new because that's what we, we do. We're going to bring our, our latest thinking, our most current research, our cutting edge developments out at Montana Institute. That, that's where we unveil those. And so it's a sneak peek of where we're, we're coming with some of our you know, forthcoming publications and, and, and trainings. But again, I, I want to emphasize that I think one of the most important elements is the connections people make with each other when they're out getting a meal, riding a horse, whitewater rafting, hiking. We, we end each day around three o'clock and it stays light until about 11. So there's plenty of time for people to then get out and, and, and absorb and talk about some of the things they experienced that day. And I, I think that's one of the things that makes it so unique. 11 o'clock is well past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> you have to shut the curtains. Right. You've already touched on some points, but how would you articulate how the Montana Summer Institute differs from other professional development opportunities for substance misuse prevention professionals? Yeah, I, I think that one of the things that distinguishes Montana Summer Institute from, say, a, a conference or, or another training is that we're incorporating all of those elements that I, I just mentioned. The spirit of aha moments, the spirit of aha okay, now I get it at a next level. The spirit of restoration and having direct experience is, is something that is, is quite unique. The fact that we're presenting 
our frameworks, science of the positive, positive community norms, hope, health outcomes from positive experiences, the fact that we're presenting our frameworks and how these frameworks are evolving and developing is critical. I think you've hit on, on this already in this conversation, but one of the most unique elements of what people receive at Montana Summer Institute is that it, it focuses on transformational leadership. It's not just managing change, but it's, it's actually fostering sustainable long-term transformation. And that's why people continue to come is seeking out that unique aspect. It sparked a, an off-the-cuff question from that. How can attendees make the most of their experience to really ensure that they're able to apply what they've learned and carry that transformation forward as they go back and do the prevention work that they do? That's a great question. First of all, we'll, we will have different materials, recordings of the sessions, articles that, that people take with them, right? So taking from this week-long experience and then having notes, materials, recordings, tools to, to apply will be, be one thing. Something else is to, to be able to continue to connect with colleagues. We have different refresher trainings and, and opportunities so that people going back can then have opportunities in terms of experience anything from from coaching to additional trainings to, to be able to, to continue to, to put this work, put these models and these frameworks into action requires support. And, it, and it's really nice to get tips from those of us that have been doing it for 25 or 30 years, as well as colleagues that have been doing it successfully, applying these frameworks successfully anywhere from a year to, you know, 10 or, or more years. So maintaining those connections and, and continuing to study and apply the skills is, is, is really critical, like it is in any area of leadership. Learning from each other, staying connected with each other. Just so you know, I will be rocking my Prevention is Better Together shirt at the Summer Institute, so don't worry. Okay, good. I, I don't doubt that you will. The little things that make me smile. But to bring us back on track, um, what are what are some aspects or things that you are excited about for the summer? Yeah, thanks. This is the highlight of our year for for the Montana Institute. The highlight of our year is MSI, Montana Summer Institute. Several reasons. One, it's one of the rare events where we get our team of trainers all coming in from all over you know, North America to be in the same place for the same week, for us to be able to have meals together, to work together, laugh, train, hike, that's huge. So the energy we get with, with each other. Also, in, in that same spirit, connecting with prevention partners and friends and colleagues long-standing and some of those being newer, people that are just showing up for the first time. And as we know, we do a lot of work virtually. So it's really exciting when you may have, when we have a colleague that we've worked with and done Zoom meetings with, and then we finally get to, to connect in person. And so overall though, I, I'd say this for our team, I think that the thing that energizes us the most is the passion of, that participants have, this restorative energy of seeing people that we work hard and we can burn out. And to see people come and reignite that spark for why they do this work, why they serve, that, that makes it all worth it for us every year is, is seeing people reignite that passion that they have for prevention and, and health promotion 
education, organizational leadership, traffic safety, go through the list. For people to, to become energized and go, you know what, I, I got some fresh ideas and I think I can, I can make even bigger impacts. That's what makes it for us and our team to host this. That, that's what makes it so valuable, restoring that passion for the work that we do. Beautiful. And I say with that, listeners, if you're feeling burnout, tired, needing to connect with others, wanting to, to learn more and grow as a transformational leader yourself, don't miss out. Get signed up today because like Jeff said, in-person slides are already more than half filled and if you listen to this podcast and you're there in person, come find me. Would love to connect with you in person because I'll tell you what, there are people that I've grown close with over the past five years that I've never met in person ever, ever. And oh, I'm so looking forward to, to connecting with folks. So before we hit and record, what would be one good just summary of the Montana Summer Institute that you'd offer our listeners? I guess a good summary of Montana Summer Institute is that to think in terms of prevention is a journey. And if we can experience smaller journeys like journeying to Montana, meeting new colleagues, and experiencing a rejuvenation in our work, because of the content, the cutting edge science, and the tools and steps for how to apply our work in, in effective ways, nothing could be more valuable than that kind of a, an investment in yourself and your team. So we'd look forward to seeing you in Big Sky. All right, folks, check the show notes for the registration link. And yes, looking forward to seeing you all in Big Sky. That concludes this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and share this episode with a friend before you leave. And we look forward to seeing you on social media because prevention is better together. Together, we are stronger.